Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Solar activity has been moderate in recent hours, with notable occurrences of M-class flares originating from Region 3359, specifically from the area designated as S22E46 with a dry-slash-beta classification. Two M-class flares were observed during this period, including an M1-SN flare at 012223 UTC and an M2 flare at 020235 UTC. These flares were accompanied by multiple discrete frequency radio bursts and a Type 2 radio sweep with a velocity of 379 km per second. Additionally, a coronal mass ejection was detected off the southeastern limb of the Sun at 020324 UTC. However, this particular CME is not anticipated to have significant effects on Earth. Several regions of interest have shown slight growth overnight. These include regions 3358, 3359, and 3360. Among them, Region 3354 continues to be the largest and most complex spot group, exhibiting both growth and consolidation. Another noteworthy event is the beginning of a filament liftoff centered near S22E18, which commenced at 020856 UTC as observed in SUVI 304 imagery. Scientists and analysts will conduct further analysis to determine the potential for a CME associated with this event as it unfolds. Looking ahead, solar activity is expected to be relatively low, with a possibility of N-class flares and a slight chance of X-class flares occurring between the dates of 02 to 04 July. In terms of energetic particle events, the flux of electrons greater than 2 mega electron volts reached high levels during the past 24 hours, peaking at 2574 at 011650 UTC. Conversely, the flux of protons greater than 10 mega electron volts remained at background levels. The forecast indicates that the flux of electrons greater than 2 mega electron volts is likely to reach high levels from 02 to 04 July. Moreover, there is a slight possibility of a proton event exceeding the S1 minor threshold caused by the flare potential of region 3354. Solar wind parameters experience slight enhancement, characterized by speeds ranging from 429 to 512 km per second. The total magnetic field ranged between 4 to 6 nt, while the BZ component fluctuated between plus 3 slash 4 nt. The phi angle, which indicates the orientation of the interplanetary magnetic field, mostly exhibited positive values. Looking ahead, solar wind parameters are expected to continue trending toward nominal levels until the 3rd of July on the 4th of July, weak negative polarity coronal hole high-speed stream effects are anticipated potentially leading to quiet to unsettled geomagnetic conditions. In summary, solar activity has displayed moderate behavior, primarily characterized by M-class flares originating from region 3359. While the associated CME is not expected to have significant geoeffective impacts, scientists will closely monitor the development of potential CMEs associated with the filament liftoff event. Furthermore, the forecast indicates a possibility of increased electron flux levels and a slight chance of proton events, while solar wind parameters are anticipated to approach nominal levels until weak CHHSS effects on the 4th of July may result in unsettled geomagnetic conditions. Thank you for joining us as we explored solar activity today. If you found this video informative and enjoyed learning about M-class flares, energetic particles, and solar wind, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on the latest space-related content we release. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. We appreciate your feedback. Keep exploring the wonders of the universe, and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.